Hey Aquarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for September. We're gonna take a look and see what's going on for you guys. If it hits home, if it resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your bonus reading is up on Vimeo. Spy time, we're spying on your person and seeing what's going on behind the scenes, as well as why they're not communicating, okay? Check that out if you're interested. Aquarius, um, personal readings, I am available. Also, email tarot readings are available as well, all on Etsy. If you only have one or two questions, uh, two to four day turnaround, very quick. And um, I also have my tarot, oracle deck, spiritual jewelry, cheat sheets on Etsy. So check that out. Favorite my shop, connect with me, Instagram, Facebook, if you're interested. Let's jump right into your reading, Aquarius. This is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What's going on with Aquarius in love? All right, Aquarius. What's happening with Aquarius? What do we need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? <laughs> All right, Aquarius, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse, and we have the Four Pentacles in reverse. I feel there's someone here that you're in your head about. There's a lot of deep thinking. You're trying to become clear on what's going on, what's happening, what the next step should be. There's someone here that you're looking for answers on, okay? This is someone that you may not be talking to at this time. Maybe there's been... Um, Poor communication or someone took a back. I'm, I'm getting someone took a step back, okay? There's some kind of um, silence here. Now, I feel like whoever this is, Aquarius, you may be questioning if you can offer them love anymore, if you can trust them with your heart. There's something about someone being closed off to love and trying to decipher if this is something worth holding on to. Do I hold on to this and do I let it go, right? Do I drop it? So that could be someone here, um, someone that you're dealing with, and maybe this is someone who um, may have taking a step back from you, okay? Maybe this is someone who silenced you, they're not talking, and therefore, you're trying to decipher if you should let this go or not. All right, so take it how it resonates. Let's see, give me the recent past energy for Aquarius. In the recent past, Aquarius, we have the two of pentacles in reverse, the knight of pentacles in reverse, and the wheel of fortune in reverse. In the recent past, Aquarius, obviously something was not moving in your favor, right? Things were not working out. There may have been a lot of delays, a lot of misfortunes with regard to this situation here with this person. And I'm seeing that there was no stability. I'm getting a lot of you guys, you may have been waiting for this person to take real action towards you, to offer something that was stable, secure. And I feel a lot of you guys, you felt this person was playing around. You may have felt they were juggling you you may have felt like they were not taking you seriously some of you guys you may have thought there was someone else in a picture it could be a taurus or virgo capricorn and i'm getting the sense that someone decided you know what i don't want to just be this third wheel i don't want to just be a number i want your full undivided attention and if you're not going to give me that there's something about letting something go entirely or someone deciding you know what i'm out that's the energy i'm getting and so therefore something here was not moving forward things were not working out the way it should be Right, so let's see what's on your mind, Aquarius, right now. Aquarius, we have the Queen of Swords, that's your energy. We have the King of Cups, we have the King of Swords, wow, and the Two Swords in reverse. Some of you guys, you have two people that you're choosing between, okay? It's very clear. <laughs> you could be choosing between another air sign or um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's someone here that you're definitely considering. Um, there's definitely, yeah, two, uh, two energies if you have not. Maybe there's not two energies right now. There could be someone coming in that you're going to have to make a decision about, okay? There's definitely a decision ahead of a hard decision you're having to make. And it's telling you, of course, you're going to have to really find out the truth of the situation first before you make this decision, okay? Now, again, it could be a past person. It could be a new person coming in. Some of you guys, you may not know this new person just yet. But there's definitely a very important decision you're having to make with the two swords. And you're having to get all the facts and make this decision using your logic, right? Using your head, not your feelings and emotions, Let's see what's going on in a foundation. What's coming in for Aquarius? What's in a foundation that they may not be aware of? Five of Wands in reverse. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. We have the Devil. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. 
Some of you guys are dealing with the Capricorn. I feel like there's definitely someone that you've been in conflict with, and I think that's why a beginning or new beginning has not come in just yet, okay? The Ace of Cups is here. I do feel someone here wants to present you with a new offer of love, but I also feel like this is someone who may have some kind of toxic way about them or toxic mindset. Maybe the communication always ends in a toxic way, but it's telling me that this is someone who's been waiting for you. This is someone who may have been wanting to come back in your life. They're waiting for the right opportunity. Now, I also feel like a lot of you guys, Aquarius, um, there could be a past person, but there could be a new person who wants to come into your life. And the challenge for you is to let go of a situation that may be toxic or not be working for you. Okay. Some of you guys, you have someone coming in that you've been, you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for some kind of new opportunity. You've been waiting for change and you've been wanting to get out of conflict. A lot of you guys, there's someone here that you've been wanting to move away from. They just bring a lot of conflict and drama to your life. And I'm feeling a lot of you guys, Aquarius, you're in this place of great confusion about what you, how you want to move forward, what you want to do. And a lot of you guys is regarding a decision you're having to make, okay? So Aquarius, let's see what's coming in as far as the outcome. Aquarius, what can we expect for Aquarius? Of course, we have the hangman, we have the justice in reverse, we have the ace of swords in reverse. I feel like a lot of you guys, Aquarius, you could be expected to be kind of um, unsure, okay? Kind of in this hangman energy where there's something you're having to assess. You're having to look at very closely. You're having to look at it from different perspectives and different points of views. Because it's telling me that you're having to make a decision, but you can't make this decision yet. Because a lot of you guys, there's something here that you're just not aware of. The Ace of Swords in reverse. Now, Aquarius, I do feel like there could be a Libra coming in or someone here that has not made it right with you. And I'm getting a lot of you guys, you have not been able to move forward because this person has not, they have not spoken their truth. Or a lot of you guys, you're still um, unsure as to why something happened, why they did injustice to you, why they hurt you, why they left you like this. So a part of you guys is telling me that you may be keeping yourself stuck, right? The hangman, you may be in this place of feeling stuck and not able to move forward just yet because you have not gotten a clarity as to why something didn't happen, why someone sabotaged a really good thing and why they hurt you so bad, why they did an injustice to you, why they treated you bad. So a lot of you guys are telling me that you finding out the truth could really do wonders. It can allow you to get out of this place of confusion and make this decision on how to move forward, okay? So let's get some more messages for you, Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What else do we need to know for Aquarius? Now, the current energy is the Hermit. So Aquarius, you're having to go within. You're having to do a lot of deep thinking, maybe disconnecting from your family, your friends to get some insight on a situation, to get some answers. Tell me more about the Hermit. Tell me more about the Hermit. The Hermit is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Some of you guys are dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's someone here that you don't entirely trust because they've been a little bit sneaky. They've been a little bit deceptive. And I also feel like this is someone who may have been playing games, who may have not been um, out for your greatest good. You know, the Seven of Swords is someone who goes behind your back, does something without you knowing, and they don't even tell you. And I feel like ultimately this person was not taking real action towards you. They were not offering real stability. And this is someone who you really gave your love to. But I'm also seeing there being a challenge right now if you can still love this person because some of you guys are someone who is trying to drop this connection. It's, it's telling me someone here has been holding on, but they're thinking about just letting it go. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the World card. I feel a lot of you guys, Aquarius, there's something here about you thinking about your future, thinking about where is this really going, right? There's something here that you're thinking so much bigger than just right now. And with the Queen of Pentacles, I do feel stability, long-term security is on your mind, and you're not trying to just play around. And I feel very strongly the Seven of Wands is about you making it clear to this person as to where you stand, right? Really setting the clear boundaries and saying, this is where I stand. This is what I expect from you. And I expect you to respect me. And there's something about you guys um, saying, if that's not done, if I cannot get that those basic things, right? Respect, honesty, whatever. It's like, I'm going to let this go. It's something that I'm no longer going to hold on to. Because a lot of you guys, you, you've grown a lot. There's something about you seeing things um, in a whole different way. Okay? And I'm seeing a lot of you guys, you're, you're protecting... Uh, you're standing up for what you want and you're protecting that at all costs. So give me the recent past. Give me the recent past that the wheel came out in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. 
we have the Empress in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Hermit in reverse. I feel like you're dealing with someone, Aquarius, that was not really nurturing the connection. They were not putting you first. Um, you certainly are the Empress, Aquarius, but I'm getting this person certainly did not act like it. I feel like when it came down to really growing a connection, investing in this, and um, you know, really making something work, this person was not there for you. They certainly could have been um on their own. The Nine of Pentacles, they could have been acting single or just doing single like things. And I feel at the end of the day, this is someone you couldn't rely on. This is someone who may have all of a sudden disappeared. You couldn't find them when you wanted them. You couldn't reach them. They would go into hermit. They would disconnect from you and they would not be seen. And a lot of you guys, you, you know, these activities, these behaviors, a person it, uh, showed, it really demonstrated that you you were on your own, that you couldn't rely, you couldn't trust this person, and they were not for your divine good. And so there's something here where your person, their true colors were, were being shown, right? The wheel, things were not moving in the right direction, and you became to see that this is something that maybe you should have to, you have to drop, the two of pentacles in reverse, you're having to perhaps let go. Why is the two of pentacles here? Two of pentacles is clarified by the seven of cups in reverse with the knight of wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I'm seeing you guys become more clear. There's something here where maybe initially you weren't very clear on this because there was a lot of confusion. Maybe your emotions got the best of you, Aquarius. But there's definitely someone here who um, their intentions were, were not very clear towards you. They may have had other options or other people that they were considering. And I'm seeing that that's why they gave you that Knight of Wands energy, right? They came with passion. They come in. You guys will have a good time, but there'd be no real solidification of the connection. There really would be no quality, maybe quality time, right? This person would come and go. And that's why you couldn't rely on this person because they brought a lot of instability until the point where you decided, you know what? I have to drop this. So let's see. There's a decision that a lot of you guys, Aquarius, you're making, but you're having to find out the truth. Give me more clarity on the King and Queen of Swords. Some of you guys, I want to just look at your energy a little bit deeper. I don't know if you're the King or Queen. It doesn't matter. Um, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. We have the Temperance. I'm sorry, the Eight of Swords, the Temperance in reverse with the Judgment in reverse. So there is a decision that, you know, I do feel has been made, but it's telling me that the decision is not entirely final. And I'm getting a lot of you guys, because it's not final, um, or this is a decision that you maybe you're avoiding, okay? A lot of you guys, this is a decision that you've been avoiding for some time. And that's why you've been in this Eight of Swords energy. So there's a decision that you're having to make. And it, it's bringing, I'm getting a lot of anxiety over making this decision because the temperance in reverse is telling me that there's a lot of instability um, right now you're feeling within yourself because of this decision. And this decision is creating a lot of conflict within you, um, Eight of Swords, a lot of anxieties, a lot of worries, you're keeping yourself stuck and tied. And so that's why it's so important for you to make this decision. A lot of you guys are getting out of this Eight of Swords energy because you're finally making a decision about what you want and how you want to move forward. It could be with the Sagittarius here. Now, I want to see what is going on in the foundation with this person. I feel like there's someone here who would really love to offer a new beginning with you, but there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of things that just don't make sense with this person. Okay. Give me, you know, give more clarity on, and I'm going to go back to this two of swords. I want to find out what that decision is all about, but let me find out what this ace of cups is with this person. They want to come towards you with a new beginning. Two of pentacles. Eight of Pentacles in verse with the Eight of Wands in verse. Yeah, so this is also explaining why a decision is having to be made by you, Aquarius. Because if you're giving this person the ability to make a decision, they're not going to. The Two of Pentacles, this is someone who's going to keep going back and forth, being very indecisive. Some of you guys are dealing with someone else, which is why this new opportunity has not come in. But also, this is someone who may, again, have a lot of toxic weight of thinking or habits or behaviors and it's telling me that they're not invested the eight of pentacles versus is not someone who you can rely on because they're not fully invested in you in the connection and so that's why there's been a lot of delays a lot of miscommunication eight of wands and verse something has not been able to move forward and take off and they will continue to stay in this two of pentacles energy until aquarius you decide and so that's why it's really important aquarius for you to make this decision because a lot of you guys the judge in the verse is your person's inability to make a decision right? Because this is someone who's flip-flopping, going back and forth, back and forth, don't know what they want, and there's just been no, no progress, no movement. So tell me more about the three of wands. This is someone who's been waiting, doing some waiting here. Three of wands is clarified by the devil, the five of pentacles, and the star in reverse. 
I see that, you know, this is someone here who has been kicked to the curb or maybe you're not talking to this person. You may have left them out in a cold. This is someone who's waiting for another chance because the star in the verse is someone who may, you know, maybe you've given up on them. Maybe you decide, you know what, this is someone that I don't want to deal with right now. The devil is still here. So I want to just bring it to your attention. This could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with or this could be really someone who's just toxic, right? Um, but whatever it is, it's telling me that this is someone who's been waiting. They're waiting for you to come around. They're waiting for you to maybe open the door and um, maybe, you know, want to heal the connection. But I feel like that's, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm getting a lot of you guys. There's someone here, Aquarius, that, you know, you turned your back on for a reason. That's your energy, the star in reverse. And this is someone who's brought a lot of conflict and confusion to your life. And I'm getting a lot of you guys, you're becoming more clear that this person does not have the ability to change because both devils came out in the upright. So this is someone here who refuses to change and you may have left them out in a cold for a good reason. And so now I want to switch gears and find out what this decision is that you're making Aquarius regarding the situation because whatever this decision is, it's gotten you feeling stuck. You've been thinking about it quite a bit, quite a long time, and now it's like, well, I need to make a decision whether I have the truth or not. And a lot of you guys are still something here you don't know entirely, but you having to make a decision. Let's find out more about this, okay? We have the Ace of Cups in a verse. We have the Nine of Wands and the Three of Wands in a verse. I'm getting a lot of you guys, so it's a decision that you're having to make. And the, the reason why you have not been able to make it until now is because you've been really expecting for something to come back in with regard to this person. A lot of you guys, you didn't want to just give up on this person. You wanted to um, persevere. You wanted to fight for this. The Nine of Wands is persevering, you know, really wanting to fight for something you believe in. And I think that this person, you wanted to fight for this. You believed in this connection. You saw movement. You were very passionate about this connection. A lot of you guys, you really did love this person. And you were expecting a new opportunity in love with them. The Ace of Cups came out twice in reverse. So it's telling me there was a lot of expectations that there'll be a new beginning here. But I'm getting it just never happened. And that is a decision that you guys are having to make. Let go of the fact that, you know, this is this may come back. Eventually, it's going to come back. This person's going to do right. They're going to change. And you have not seen it. You've not seen it. And so I feel a lot of you guys' decision is regarding letting yourself go, letting this go, not holding on to this person, not holding on to the situation or thinking that they're going to do better and they're not. Give me more clarity on this decision here with the three of wands. There's something you're no longer going to be waiting for. The Magician card came out in the verse, the Nine of Swords came out in the verse, and the Four of Swords. I feel a lot of you guys are going to take time to yourself. The Four of Swords is resting, it's rejuvenating, it's going in this period of, you know, deep reflection and, you know, contemplation, maybe removing yourself from people that you, you know, typically your friend, your family. But I'm seeing that there's something here where you're having to go into this place of rest and peace of mind, um, find peace of mind, because there's been a lot of stress, anxieties, worries, sleepless nights, Nine of Swords up in your head constantly thinking about this and you're realizing that something here has not manifested something here has not worked out the magician of verse and it's really because this person has been creating these blocks right and so we have the magician of verse there's something here that is working against you and so Aquarius I see you making a decision to now let it go let it go because you're letting go of that nine of swords energy so a lot of you guys are letting go of some kind of situation here because it's only been bringing you mental turmoil and the four of swords taking time to yourself a lot of you guys you're 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 spending time by yourself isolating yourself from um again the people that maybe you typically interact with day to day but you're finding your peace of mind you're grounding yourself you're meditating you're resting you're recovering from a very difficult situation here so that's what i'm seeing coming in and i'm seeing a lot of healing energy as well with the four of swords because you're making that decision to finally put your energy and effort into that okay so that is what i'm seeing aquarius i know very difficult heavy reading today but i hope you guys got some clarity in it and i wish you all well if it resonated be sure to check out the bonus spying on your person what's going on behind the scenes and also why they're not communicating at this time for you aquarius in the month of september all right check you guys out later bye